So today traders, uh, I promise you to give you the best of the best I can when it comes to day trading. I'm actually not gonna hold anything back. I'm gonna be showing you exactly how I trade, where I enter, why I enter, and explaining the logic behind my trading. So I'm gonna do something that probably no other, can I say educator, I prefer to look at myself as a trading coach. So we've got a hundred odd people here today that are looking at trading for the first time. I'd like to uh, welcome you here. Now also, it's not gonna be a short webinar because there's a lot I wanna get through. Now at the end, yes, I'm gonna ask you to join as a member, but that's at the end. The most important thing is make sure you take this in because there's gonna be no BS. I'm gonna really drill down and show you how the money is made. And at the same time, I'm gonna show you how if you're a brand new trader, where you start and how you really master the art of day trading without spending a fortune uh, on software and you don't, look, the most common indicators I'm gonna be showing you today are free. Virtually everything I show you on my platform is free except for the charting package, which you can use NinjaTrader, TradeStation, uh, TradingView, and I've got indicators for most of the platforms, and they're all included, by the way, I throw them in. So I want you to really not be sitting back with your arms crossed thinking, oh, this is just gonna be another big sales webinar. As I said, yes, I'll ask you to join, but I'm gonna show you how I really do it with um, nothing hidden, you know, no, you know, no sleight of hand in other words. So as I do get underway, and I apologize for that sound issue, is that uh, there is a risk in trading. Don't trade with the rent money. Uh, you know, and that's a beautiful part about virtually every trading platform now. You can trade using the simulator until you do get yourself up there and trading correctly. So very important. Uh, I will also send you a copy of the replay. Uh, the, the most important, you know, master the art on the simulator before you go live. And we'll talk more about that as we go along. Now traders, you can make 2022 your best year ever. If trading has not been kind up to, up to now, I'm gonna show you how to turn that around. If you're a brand new trader or considering day trading as a career, this is the last webinar you'll ever need to attend because I'm gonna show you the world's best or some of the world's best because there's really a lot of great trading strategies that are out there. In fact, let me turn the camera on for a moment, uh, which I don't normally do. Sometimes I'll do it during, during coaching. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, as I said, you're gonna to have to excuse my funny throat. So once again, I'd like to uh, welcome you here as a member. I've been doing this, and as you'll see some other photos, and this is part of my library here for a long, long time, over 27 years. And in that time, I've been fortunate enough to be able to employ CTAs, full-time traders, researchers. I've been able, as you'll see in a moment, been able to code a lot of different trading strategies and systems. I'm gonna be showing you what I consider to be the best of the best. And at the same time, after all these years, you know what, I still learn something nearly every day about myself as a trader, from members, and from live trading itself. So what I'm really showing you here today will, will really save you a huge amount of time. Even if you don't become a member, it'll at least give you a good guide where to start from. But at the same time, you just like, you, you can't read a book on how to play the piano. Well, you can, but it's near impossible until you get a coach. The same thing, you can't read a book on swimming. It's totally different than jumping in the pool. Likewise with trading. But I don't wanna make this a big sales webinar because what this is really about is how you really do day trade. So let's get into it. So some of the things I'll be covering is I'll show you in a moment how to really go from $100 a week uh, upwards and really build your account with a small account. In fact, <clears throat> excuse me, one of the common questions I have regularly, well look, I've got a twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 account, which market should I start on? We'll talk about the markets, but then what's important, I'll always say to a member, go and invest the 20, go and invest 25,000 elsewhere for now. You've got to earn 
your stripes before you start trading large contracts. Start on a micro or start trading one CL contract, which we'll talk about in a moment. It's important that you master the art correctly. <clears throat> I'll, be, I'll be showing you really how a novice trader, and this is a big statement, how a committed novice trader can master the art in only 20 days. Now that's a broad statement there. And what I mean by that is starting with one setup and building from there, and we'll, we'll talk about that. How to start with a small account, virtually everything here, which is in your initial email, I'm going to cover with you. Now, we're also gonna be talking very briefly about what I call the Goldilocks rule. Now, I've worked with over 10,000 traders. Uh, I've got, um, Oh, I've got a live trading room with a hundred odd traders in it. I've got a coaching room with a couple of hundred traders in it. I do all these sessions every week. And over the years, after 27 years, I've had a massive, what I call, aha experience, which I'm going to share with you the real difference between making it. Now, if trading has not been kind to you up to now, traders, this is also very, very important. Don't let the shadow of your past hold you back. If you've blown money, if trading has been cruel to you, uh, you've, we've got to reframe that and look at it as a learning experience. It's very, very important. In other words, I need you to be open-minded. <clears throat> now, I'm only gonna be able to really cover the tip of your iceberg today, but with what I do give you today will be invaluable, I promise. Now, in the end, what does a day trading career mean to you? Financial freedom. Syria. Now, I know you can say, oh, that's a cliche, of course it does. But you know what? If you don't have a big enough why, if you don't create a compelling future, you will not make it as a day trader because it takes work. And as I mentioned earlier, or is that when the speaker with the microphone was off? Is the only place in the world before where success comes before work is in a dictionary. And But if you create a compelling future, I promise you trading becomes or mastering so much easier. You know, and so it's important that you have goals and dreams. Now I'm gonna get straight down to here and because I wanna get past some slides because I do wanna to get to the live markets for you as well. As soon as I mentioned, I've been fortunate enough that I've had the money uh, to invest in research and development, employ full-time traders and staff and consultants. Um, I've been doing this for over 27 years now. And I tell you this not to impress you, but to impress upon you, upon you, you don't have to do this. You don't have to go out and buy everything out there. Now, fortunately, I've been able to do this. And it's something that I'm passionate about. And I want to, I'll show you a couple of indicators in a moment that's really interesting, which keeps coming out that, hey, the new best thing. But I think it was Gan that famously said, uh, there's nothing new under the sun. And I think it really is true. Now, throughout my years, and as I promote with my current traders, is I've got dozens of notebooks of notes I've taken over those periods of time. And you know what, I go over notes from 20 years ago and I'm basically repeating today the same things. There's very few new things that I've discovered over that period of time. A couple of unique things which I will show you, but you know, traders, this is a business. And it's a little bit like, in some ways I'm hesitant in saying this, but you can't be half pregnant. If you decide that trading is for you, you've got to be committed. You've got to become a student of the markets. Now you don't have to do this because I've been able to cheat because I've had research reports written by staff, and things like that. But what you do need to do is start to treat this as a business. And if you look onto my PC, and if you, well, it's probably hard for you to read this, see the topics on trading, I have a massive library. And the reason I'm bringing this up, when I get to show you the strategies in a moment, I want you to know that, hey, he's not trying to flog me any systems or strategies here because I've been around some of them for years. Now, next time you go online and you look for a trading system or you look and see software or trading indicators for sale, I probably already own them. I have hundreds, hundreds of them, okay? If there is something better, 
I'm going to tell you today. And do you know what? Just about really the best of the best are free. You just maybe need to put a custom, uh, um, adjust them to a custom level, but that's about it. And just quickly, I mentioned about indicators. I, I get a huge amount of emails sent to me by indicator vendors and whatever. And this is um, Heiken Ashi, just um, uh, from three different vendors. Two of them actually said to me, oh, we've made these massive improvements and uh, there's nothing like it. <laughs> and here they are, all three on the one chart, okay? Basically, um, uh, one's got tails, oh, sorry, two of them have got tails, uh, one doesn't. But otherwise, they're exactly the same. And so virtually traders, every indicator is what we call a derivative of price. They plot after price action, okay? And they re there's very few what we call predictive indicators, except for perhaps pivot levels or open high, low close levels, which we're going to quickly look at live because they are very important and they're free. So as we get into this, with no BS, what really is the true potential as a day trader? And it's so important that, you know, for a start, I can see some of you, by the way, sit forward and stop crossing your arms, okay? This is important because unless you start to do this, you won't make it as a trader. You really won't. So you've got to have goals where you want to go. Now, they've also got to be realistic goals. Now, we tend to overestimate what we can do in six months and underestimate what we can do in two years. So what I want to quickly do is just show you true realistic potential. Okay, now I call it get rich slowly. Is that yes, you can go and earn your five to six hundred dollars a day per CL contract or trading the ES or whatever market you might be trading. But really for a new trader, I've discovered the Goldilocks rule and that's a wrong approach. It's so important that we drop it down and as you build your competence and confidence, we increase your income. Start at the bottom, get the ticks, get that cash register ringing and build from there. Let me just quickly start on this one. So remember, we are going to live charts in about 30 minutes. So let's just say here that you trade the ES or CL. Now, when it comes to markets to trade, and let me just quickly, I'm not gonna go through all the market opportunities, but there's literally, um, let me just go down. There's literally dozens of them that you can choose. The E-minis, the treasury notes, Forex, the currency um, uh, futures markets. There are a dozen, you've got you know, you've got the softs, you've got corn, soybeans, agriculture, you've got gold, which is a big one, of course. Uh, there's so many options for a trader. So today, just in today's webinar, I'll, I'll sort of focus, I'm going to focus on the ES and CL, which is the black gold, the Texas T oil. And in this particular case, I'm going to assume here you've got a $4,000 a $4, account. We'll look at a very small account in a moment. What is a very, very realistic target for a trader within a month or two? I want to say a month or two, you're not going to go live until you've mastered this on the simulator. And I'll show you these trades in a moment that are going to get you there. Now, if you're trading, say, oil, you need two six tick trades a day. Less your commissions, let's just round it off at $5 each. That's your 110, so there's your 100. So in this particular case, what we've got to consider always, always is what we call our money management, and we never ever risk more than 2%. So by having a $4,000 account, what that means is you can have a risk of up to $80. If you break the 2% rule, traders, you will go down eventually. I'm sorry, but that's the reality. It's like there's some trading got up there that if you go and risk 5% of your account, all of a sudden you have seven losses in a row and it's devastating. Very important, you follow the money management rules. If you don't have 4,000, we start off with a smaller account, which I'll show you in a moment. But if you have two small ES scalps, we call them scalps when they're this small, there's 100 a day. And what it means to you you got the earning potential of $10,000 within 30 weeks, plus your account now is at $95,000.
Once you're ready, you step that up. We jump you up to now 150 a day, or you choose when you're ready, of course. All of a sudden you're there within 18 weeks. And what if you're already an experienced trader and what if you just really need some handholding? What if you just need to be in my live room and gain the confidence and really learn the setups, but you've already got some experience? You might start off and go for um, uh, 200 a day. It very, now, when I say 200, you'll see most, can I call them educators saying, you know, three, four, five, and I've been just as guilty, six, 700 a day. Yes, for a full-time trader, however, You've got to keep it simple when you first get going. But that there, 200 a day on a 4,000 account, within 10 weeks, your accounts, sorry, within 10, where are we here? Down within 12 weeks, you've got 50 grand basically in your account and you're up to 10,000 a week on just three trades a day. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment when we get to the charts. Now, these are, by the way, these particular um, spreadsheets are all included. My members get all of these. So you'll actually get this. So you can, can create your own trading plan as with this one. So what we've also got to consider when we look at an income, we've got to have a goal. And you may in the end decide, by the way, not to look at the dollars, but you look at points. There's a number of things that we look at. And we well, that's a bit beyond today's webinar today. But what's important if, say, if you wish to go for $200 a day, and you say on the uh, CL, on the oil, you've got an eight tick stop, which is $80, and your target's $80, $80. Uh, you've got a 75% win loss ratio, which you should be easily getting with your two Bs. That'll give you 200, but what you need to be planning, okay, I've got to undertake or execute six trades a day. That's the reality. And this is what I want to get across is every aspect that you need to understand. Now, it comes down to this, is I won't go through all of this, there's no need for me, but you may also say, I just want it to be about lifestyle. And so in the end, if you're trading 10 contracts, 100 a day, that's five grand a week on two scalps. Now, I'm just looking at the charts now, you would have already romped that in, in the last 40 minutes. And you'll see that live in a minute when we get there and I'll show you why. So um, really, you don't have to go for the big bucks. It means you might have more capital involved, but it can be about lifestyle. Now, this is an email I received from um, uh, Raymond, one of my long-term members, uh, only on the 20th of January. So literally a few days ago just about um, the overnight margins. And we were talking about um, uh, what we call the initial margin and overnight margin. And so what he stated here greatly helps in knowing he only needs $700 on what we call an 8-4 Renko chart, which we'll be looking at. And as he says here, it's really a game changer for traders with a small account. Now, what if you have a small account or what if you have five to 10,000, but you say, you know what I want to do? I want to take it slowly. I want to build my comp confidence and competence and skill set over a couple of months before I commit five, 10, $20,000. Good move. So we can start trading what we call the micros. Here I've got the micro ES, but you might trade the micro NQ. Uh, there's the micro Dow. Uh, you've got now the Russell. Okay, and here you could start off with a $700 account. Now in this particular case, uh, with a 700 account, we've got to remember our 2% rule. What it means is we can still risk up to $14 and stay within our rule. In fact, what you actually have as members, and you can do this yourself, but if you look at say an eight tick Renko, and we talk, talk about, we teach members how to look at it as in steps. Your risk using the super scalper, which you will use, see in a moment, by the way, is $13. If you use a rule of one, which I'll show you and I'll teach you what that is, is $7.50. Now, on a day like this, where the market went absolutely crazy, you've got to be jumping up to at least a 16 tick as a minimum, where your risk would have been $25 per trade. And when we get to a chart in a moment, we'll talk about that because you've really got a few choices. 
If the market is too fast, do you trade or do you set it out or you jump to another market like the ES today traders traded about three and a half million contracts. It was crazy, almost untradeable. Now, I received a, an email from, I won't mention his member, uh, his name, but here's what he said. Uh, sorry to hear you about, you're feeling bad after the boost. It's just two days. Uh, oh, he's just talking about how he was crooked too. Um, I did a whopping six, 36 points of profit using a six tick entry uh, in 10 trades on the ES today. Um, he said it was in Ar Argumentum style markets, no less. But if the market's too crazy, you want to sit it out. But the bottom line here is on only 20 a day, and I should just briefly explain how this works. Where this spreadsheet, no matter which you're looking at, whether it be this one, and he actually, let me start with this. How this spreadsheet works, it assumes you start off with one contract and you, we've looked at the money management, so you need 4,000, and it doesn't add another contract until you double your money. So there's no ridiculous uh, um, compounding. Yes, I've got other spreadsheets that'll do that and will give show you how you make millions in a year, but we've got to be realistic. You know, there are old traders, there are bold traders, but there are no old bold traders. You've got to approach it as a business. So every time you earn another 4,000, you add another contract. And we can see here within uh, week 42, you're up to uh, nearly 50 grand a week. You've got half a million in your account on only 100 a day. Now, on the micro here, starting with $20 a day, each time you earn another 700, you started trading another micro. Now, before the experienced traders in the room go, hang on, Ray, that's 100 micros. Well, traders, once you get up to four to 7,000, and, and we won't go into that too much today, then you switch over once your account builds from a micro to a large account. And the reason being is commissions. Is on the micros, as a percentage of the trade, you pay a lot more. And so it's a great spot to start. And it's really just part of your education when you first get going, but you wouldn't be trading 10 micros over uh, 100, you'd be trading 10 standard lots, okay? Now, what if you wanna be really conservative or what if you're lacking confidence? And you can't fix it if you don't measure it, traders. That is, if say, if you've blown accounts and you're really lacking confidence, start on $10 a day. Do that for a week, then you go to 15 and what you're actually doing, particularly so many traders, that, look, the, the psychology, the, the psychological damage that is done by traders because they've blown their account two or three times is really irreversible for some traders, but it can be reversed if we start on something like this. Now, the point here is, let's just say you started on $10 a day, a couple of quick scalps. Okay, it's going to take you 32 weeks before you build that 700 to $4,000. Then you can go over to the ES or to the CL. Once you get to that and you're earning just $100 a day, remember a micro is 10% of a value. And there's a reason why you go from 700 to 4,000. Won't get into that now, but within another 30 weeks, you're up to your whatever you want it to be earning. Okay, here, 10,000. That is how you build your confidence and competence a lot. So the right money management, along with the right strategies and the right thinking, the right psychology. Now, the bottom line is this, and excuse me, coffin, is that if you average only $10 a day per contract on the micro, and it could be any of the major micros, or even on the Forex market, or even on stocks, okay? Uh, starting with, with that, it's going to take you 32 weeks to get to 4,000. Once you get there, you can then get to the large contracts. In 62 weeks, that's only one year and four months, you've got an income of 10,000 a week potentially. Now, it comes down to just earning 100 a day per contract. Now, bottom line is I know most of you won't be able to live on 10,000 a week. However, 
that is the reality. But until you start to set these sorts of targets and you want to master the art of day trading as bad as you want to breathe, you're not going to get there. Now, can you really do this? Okay, it's all right me telling you doing this after all these years, but whoops, and let me just start remove that. Here's what the Goldilocks rule is. So new traders, I want you to sit back and chill out a bit because I tend to find brand new traders or those that are considering, they're the ones that usually say, I, I don't know if I can do it. Well, you can, and this is how. Here's what I've discovered with traders. I've now had a total turnaround where I'd appeal to traders the potential of earning five, $600 a day. I now only talk one to 200 a day because what I've discovered after all these years is that the Goldilocks rule, not too hard, not too easy, just right. And that is, I've got a lot of experienced traders and you'll see in a moment the amount of setups that, we, that I teach because for a serious trader, experienced trader, it's too easy, some of the things I teach. So I talk about advanced techniques as well. Then you get a brand new trader gives it a go for a couple of days, tries to swallow four or five, six setups while they're trying to learn, and it's far too hard and they give up. You've got to do it just right. So we'll talk about that when we get to the charts, because I'm going to be showing you a couple of techniques for the brand new trader, how you actually kick it off and where you start from, or the experienced trader, exactly what you should be doing. Now, very, very quickly, and I don't want this to be a real rah-rah session, but the pit bull who I relate to, Marty Swartz, he's um, 77 now. Oops, and I've got to stop. I'm sorry about when it shows that. It's just when I use the, um, uh, the my button down or whatever you call it, the arrow down. Now, uh, he earns uh, half a mil to a million dollars a month. And as he says here, I always, what do you tell people who seek your advice? I tell them, think you might be more successful when you're ever a drink because that's what happened to me. Now with Marty, if you saw what he does and how he does, well, some of his main techniques, by the way, is this one, I've got to show you this. He calls it red light, green light, allowing the trend to be a friend using the 10 day EMA. If you're above the 10, he's looking for longs. If you're below, He's looking for shorts. Now, there's a little more, bit more to that. But the bottom line is his strategies overall are simplistic in their nature. We go and look at SMB Capital out of New York City. Um, Mike Bellafori has written two great books, One Good Trade and The Playbook. Now, he talks about some of these best traders hitting 95%. And as he says here, they've developed the right pattern recognition skills and they're in the right stocks. For us, for most of my members, we're futures and Forex traders. You can master trading with us on those markets and then go to stocks or immediately master with what I do, but you can be applying the same thing. It doesn't matter what market you're trading. But here's what's interesting. We have a look at G-Man is now a multi-million dollar earner each year with um, SMB. Here's his favorite setups. Comes down, gets a retracement, gets a bounce. His stop goes above the swing high and away goes his first target and he will exit on a trend line break. Going long, same thing. Where a market rallies up, he gets a retracement. His trend trading uh, enters. Now, what if he gets stopped out on this? This now becomes his, oops, I'd actually, no, here's his favorite um, setup. Is here it is here, he gets stopped. Now he prefers to go for a larger target because he's a deeper pullback. By the way, for members, we've got a couple of members here, that's a 21B or a 34B. This would be a 55 or 89. Traders, the strategies that I teach, nearly all of them have been around for years. That is, there is nothing new under the sun. And time and time again, when I have indicators or strategies sent to me, yes, there's dozens of ideas that really do work. Um, so I'm not saying I'm, I'm the only one out there with dozens, but we see the same patterns. What I'm really looking for is patterns in the market, but easy patterns, okay? Um, uh, you know what? 
after 27 years, I still haven't have a mastered hidden divergence. Now, standard divergence, I'm fantastic at. Hidden divergence, you know what? I still scratch my head. I, just, I don't know what it is. It just doesn't gel. You know, mastering the art of day trade, it's not rocket science. It's about mastering patterns. Now, as a new trader, following the Goldilocks rule, what must you do? It's really easy. Buy the dips and sell the rallies. We follow the trend. We go with the flow of a river. You don't fight the current. And so when we go to the charts in a moment, that's what we're mainly going to be looking at traders, is trading with the trend. Now, human beings we or, and traders, we've got this thing where we consistently want to be picking market tops and bottoms. That ain't good traders, okay, until you've mastered trend trading. Now, the other thing is when we do go to the charts, I'm going to show you, yes, we'll look for some live trades. We'll execute some live, providing we get some, some proper setups. Uh, but we'll also look at right-hand reading. We'll go back and I'll show you how I right-hand read a chart and exactly how you should be looking for setups. From the right-hand side, so we won't be looking ahead and saying, oh, here's one, here's one, here's one. You'll see how I do it. Now, in the end, I look at it, and this is the, the really the, is it, I don't know if the word's a metaphor or what, the mind state I get. I consider myself to be a pilot, but a pilot flying by wire, flying of a night time. We read our instruments. Our instruments, traders, are our indicators. You've got to learn how to read your indicators. Now, I can give you, and I'll teach you the best of the best setups, but what you've then got to do is put it in where you create what we call muscle memory and pattern recognition. Now, patterns and the main patterns are not, are not hard to identify. It's just going to take some screen time. Now, before we get to the charts, I just wanted to quickly show you this. And that is for the experienced traders here that are looking potentially today of joining, there are a lot of different setups that I teach. We've got the T1, the super scope. You'll see that the slingshot, double tops, double bottoms, the, the multi EMA bounces, the 1B, the 2B, which are absolutely, which are your foundations. Um, we've got the T78. New members, don't worry about that. There's two only you're going to focus on which is the 2B and the 34B. Experienced members, I know you want the lot, okay? <laughs> You'll get the lot. But for newer members, and it goes on and on, the rule of one is something you want to know, okay? Now, when it comes to these things, and this is from members, there's some screenshots here, and, and I swear by the pivots, you still want to learn what a pivot is, all right? Because as members say, it's increased my confidence by 200%. In fact, when it comes to pivot trading, um, where is it here? Have I got it there? No, I don't think I opened it. But one of my members even, uh, who's actually a professor, actually sent through a PowerPoint he put together on trading. I call them pivot bounces. We've now called it the T28, by the way. He gave it the name. We code everything. Um, it's increased his confidence here. Here, another one, pivot magnets. Now, pivot magnet trading is a... Uh, is a trend following strategy. Okay, it's a trend following strategy. And that's what we really want to master. This one here is about what we call the 34B. Um, uh, and this goes back years ago, 82% win-loss ratio. Now, the, 30, the 34Bs are a 75% win-loss ratio trend following. You'll see them in a moment, by the way. Here's another one here. What was this one? This must have been on, uh, this was 34Bs again, by the way. Another member here, 34Bs, picked up 70 ticks. And in fact, uh, sorry, just on this, we've got Dave from Seattle. Okay, this is his PowerPoint. All he trades is 34Bs, but they're trend following. And you're going to see that in a moment. Then we've got, change of trend strategies, which are uh, a lot, which are better than divergent strategies. And there's a lot of them and different strategies. Now, you may think or even be questioning and saying to yourself, why have so many strategies? Well, as you gain experience as a trader, 
Look at it this way, you're a, say you're a plumber, you open up a toolbox, you've got a different tool there for a, for a different job. And likewise, after an extensive move, after a large move, you might use a different setup. As you will see, I will use on the charts when I get to them in a moment. And then you've got your counter trend strategies. Okay, now pivot bounces uh, can be a CT or a counter trend, but they can also be a pivot magnet. And I'll show you on the live charts. Okay, there's snapbacks. A snapback works brilliantly on your lower time frames, and I'll see if we see some of those as well. So in other words, traders, there's a lot of different things and a lot of different setups you can use. New members here, all you want to trade though is these. 34Bs, 34Bs, 2Bs, 34Bs. And as much as on my live chart here, I've got a number of different types of trades I've taken here. And we're going to go to the live charts. Here's the screenshots, okay? That was a 1D counter trend. That effectively was what we call a T12. Now, whilst we're here, remember I said, I'm going to show you some things that you probably will never see, maybe, well, others will start to copy them. Just a couple of things that I can say that are unique that I've discovered just from years and years of screen time. And we call this the T12, okay? And the T12 is where we have multiple EMA bounces on higher time frames. It's amazing. Look, I still get amazed at them. We see them every single day. And I just happened to see one just there. That was it just there. Where you'll get what we call an overshoot and on your anchor chart, which we'll talk about when we get to the charts, we get a bounce. It's what we call a loaded trade. Now here, we're talking about pivot bounces. Here's a pivot bounce. Here is a pivot bounce. Pivots are available on basically, pivot indicator, on basically every trading platform. But they're rarely spoken about and traders are really, really taught how to trade them correctly. Now, just a couple of things before we go live, and it's this. If trading hasn't been good for you up to now, you've very important, and you, you're probably saying, oh, I've tried this, it hasn't worked, or can I really do this? You can if you focus on this. Remember earlier I said, how to master the art in 30 days. And what I really mean by that is you're going, if you said, give me one, it's the 2B is it's so important that for 30 days, all you do, you get as much screen time and practice on trading the 2B because it kicks butt. And I'm gonna show you how to do that, okay? It kicks butt day in, day out, right? Now, and when it comes to this, you still have to learn what constitutes a trend. And I'll show you that too, divergence and angulation, very important. But talking about the science of this, and getting back to the science on some of this, uh, Mark Douglas is no longer with us. He's passed away a few years ago. Probably the greatest, if, if I can call him trader, uh, trading psychologist, but I don't think he was actually a psychologist by training. He actually was a trader, but he brought out a couple of excellent books. Number one is really The Disciplined Trader. And on page 209, he talks about this. To become an expert, choose one simple trading system that identifies a pattern, preferably one that is mechanical instead of mathematical. So you'll be working with a true representation of the market. That's what I'm gonna be teaching you, is one or two setups today when we get to the charts, because this is how you really master the art of day trading. So the reason the strategies that I'm gonna be showing you, and even just showing you a few of them, we don't have time to go through them all, works so well, let's consider the logic. The only reason why these strategies don't work is either you're entering at the end of a trend, you haven't picked it correctly and, and there's ways how we identify the trend, or the time frame is too fast. For an example, today, we saw on the ES going absolutely crazy, okay? And that is where you need to lift the time frame, but there's a, a problem with that. Or let me say challenge. The challenge with that is traders that your stop needs to be larger. 
And for some of you, your account size is not going to be large enough to have a $200 stop because it means if you stay within the 2% rule, you need 10,000 in your account. So that's not going to work. But that's where if you look at learning or mastering two markets, say CL and the ES, because the CL just plotted along today. Yes, it got a bit fast. I can see now it's just taking off right now. But it, it got a bit fast at times, but overall, you could have easily traded it with your $4,000 account. Now, the, the thing here is it's not whether they work, it's where you follow the rules. And it reminds me of Richard Dennis in a newspaper article years ago, because Richard Dennis, he's the famous trader from the Turtles. Um, he um, was asked by a journalist, how do you, you know, basically you make all your rules quite public on how you trade, doesn't that worry you? And he said, you know what, I could publish the rules in on the front page of a newspaper. Hardly anyone would follow them anyway. And so the real issue traders is, will you follow the rules? For an example, getting the screen time and taking your time. Now, in a moment, we're about to get to the charts. A couple of things, some great books here, trend following here by Michael Covell, where he talks about trend trading, how great traders make millions in up or down. They're following the trend. Yes, we do change in trend. In actual fact, I'll show you the T5 setup today, which is a change in trend, which kicks butt beautifully. But then you've got Robert Miner in this excellent book where he talks about using higher time frames. So what I'm going to be showing you is how I trade and how to trade using two or three time frames. Now, you don't have to, but I promise you, it'll make trading a lot easier and a lot more reliable. Now, a couple of quick fundamentals. Number one, are there any red flags? We always want to know, for an example, like this morning, uh, and I just can't remember what time in Australia down under where I'm recording this, uh, we've got our CPI coming out this morning. So on currency futures and a few markets, I'd want to be very cautious of that. What, what um, margin does my broker require? Um, we've got to stay within the 2% rule. Does the market I trade have volume? Does the market trend well? When are the best trading hours? Now, for an example, right now, traders, we're in what we call the Globex session. The Globex session opens up at 6 p.m. Eastern. So the markets actually close at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard. This is the futures markets. The stock markets, of course, are well and truly closed. They close for an hour and reopen. Forex is basically open 24, five days a week. Um, so right now, the futures markets, which we're gonna look at, are open. And for an example, right now, what is it? 7.48 uh, in the US, um, uh, Eastern Standard Time. Now. There's some, fan, as you're about to see, great trading opportunities. So if you're starting off as a part-time trader, there's great trading opportunities right now as you're about to see when we get to the charts. Now what happens is in the Asian session, the Globex session, we can usually trade a lower time frame, which means a smaller stop loss. Then we get up to London, we usually can go a bit crazy. Then we get into New York, and so many of you, the majority of you here are from the US. You've got a massive, massive advantage over most of us in Southeast Asia because you can trade the New York, the New York hours are the best to trade. What's the best chart type? Now today I'm gonna to be showing you um, we're going, we'll have a quick look if we have a chance on tick charts, but I'm going to be trading on Renko. Now, Renko charts, experienced traders, don't turn your nose up at me, okay? They're great for smoothing out price action. Yes, I know they hide some uh, information, and that's why I personally have tick charts set up, which I'll refer to as I'm using Renko. However, for new traders, Renko are just so much easier to trade. And if you found trading difficult up to now, maybe Renko's the way to go. The best time frame to trade, uh, I'll discuss as we get to the charts. Now here, there's a formula that I use for our entry charts, anchor chart one and anchor chart two. Now let me say this to new traders. If you find it overwhelming having three charts up, you start with your entry chart, which is your main trading chart, and you build from there. 
then you go to your anchor chart um, sorry, you have anchor chart one, and, sorry, entry chart, which you trade off. Let me get, so I'm trying to, I've just got to adjust something on this chart because I'm trying to get ready. I'm, well, not trying, I'm getting ready to see if we can get some live trades very soon. So I'm just what, just resetting this chart up here. Great, okay, that's what I was looking for. Okay, uh, and eventually you introduce the third time frame. And I've got to also say this, traders, you'll have what we call aha experiences. And that is for the first 30, 60 days, you've got to sit back and say, okay, I'm gonna take in as much as I can, a couple of hours a day. This is a part-time business I'm developing my skill set, like going to a college or a university as a part-time student. And I promise you, you'll have aha experiences all the way along. Aha, that's what that means. What are the best strategies to trade on achieving your target? I'll show you that. What are the indicators do you really need? But here's the key things. Where's my entry? Where do I place my stop? And where's my target? Now, this is important. If you're trading one contract or for one lot or whatever you're trading or a small lot, I recommend you start with a fixed target. All right, you want to get the cash register ringing. You want to, you, you really want to get, you know, some, some green on the screen, as I say. When you start trading multiple contracts, you can then start to trail. You might take half off, get the cash register ringing and trail the rest. But when it comes to both of those, here's what is important. And you will see this when we get to the charts. Do I have blue skies ahead? Now you may be thinking, well, Ray, you had me up to now, but what do I mean by that? Very simple. When we enter a trade, what's in front of us? Do we have the previous day, open high, low or close? Uh, do we have pivots in front of us? Now pivots, as I mentioned, are predictive indicators. We'll quite often kiss them and bounce off them. But there's something also which so many traders do not understand about pivots is, You've got your main pivot and you've also got a midline pivot, which we'll see. Are there any major support resistance levels? That's not as much as important as major EMAs. Remember the T12 I mentioned to you before, where we're bouncing off major EMAs? You will be amazed once you learn this, how often this happens day in, day out and you wonder why when you've bought into something you say you're buying here or you're buying here it looks good you're bouncing off major emas on a higher time frame one of the best kept secrets it really is and of course we want to exit well before red flag news so let's get to the charts let's get to the good stuff <clears throat> Joe, I'm doing relatively well, traders. I must be running on a bit of adrenaline here. Okay, so let's start with this one here. All right, let's just go back. This is, um, what we're looking at here is a one tick Renko. Now, what it means is each one of these bricks, okay, is worth $10, okay? Now, if this is too fast, you increase your time frame up to a two tick Renko. Okay, so we simply will increase it. So right here, right now, let's start with this because I can show you, because the setups appear on every time frame, meaning this setup, which I'm about to explain to you, appears on a two tick, this is a two tick anchor chart, a four tick, a 10 tick, a 20 tick. They're what we call fractal in nature. You have, in nature, you've got fractals within fractals within fractals. And when you really learn this, it, you just, it just becomes even more amazing. But let's just go back a little bit here. All right, we're live right now. So let's just go back to the open of what we call the Globex session. All right, let me just go back here and let me give you some rules. Let's just get back here. If you keep hearing a beep, it's just, it's, I live in a part of the world. I've just got the air conditioning on. Just getting back, sorry about this. Here we go. All right, so this is where we are. This is the open of a Globex session, which is 1700 Central Standard Time or 6 p.m. Eastern. Okay, when the market first open traders, okay, uh, it's going to, you're gonna give it two or three minutes to really settle in, okay, before you really start to um, 
take much notice of what's going on um, because what's you sorry I'm just turning this other thing off so what you've got to really know is you, you know do I have a setup and what can happen in the first couple of minutes all sorts of things can happen okay now as we get a pullback what we really want to be doing is trading with the trend see this here little bit dangerous and I'll show you how to read this in a moment properly but everything's still very sideways okay so as I'm getting a retracement I want you to look at the right hand chart I'm just going over to here for you see that right there that's what we call an 89b that's where we get a bounce on a major EMA on an anchor chart so this is what we call the entry chart this is what we call the anchor chart one Oh, and actually I'll answer that question now it's a good question so the question is how many screens do you need I recommend two now you can get away with one but it's very difficult if you've got two what you can actually do is have your entry chart your anchor chart one and when you're comfortable have your anchor, or you can do this have your entry chart anchor chart one and anchor chart two and have your trading dome on your other one along with anything else you want to have on display or you simply do this you have your entry chart anchor chart one anchor chart two with your dome on another one but what we're looking at traders is trading in the direction of the high time frame now this white paint bar see that there that does not plot until the third candle and we call that the super scalper okay this gives us a big heads up however when we see the market moving sideways like this you know what you should be doing sitting on hands seriously when we've got uh, and it's one of the simplest trading rules to follow when you've got sideways price action like this traders it really is sit on the hands what we're looking for is what we call a fanning of the EMAs so what I'll do let me scroll and I know that's got that thing there let me just turn it off for a minute so it doesn't drive. and let me turn this off because it's going to drive us all crazy just get rid of that so I'm just turning all these scrolling things off otherwise it'll drive everyone mad okay so back to this we'll keep the anchor chart up so the, we've got to be now yes you could be scalping here see that right there you had a scalp there that was one minute after too fast uh, five minutes after look maybe you're very flat this one he, here we're starting to roll over now see just here we're making lower highs this is still a, a tough area I'll show you a really easy area in a moment but your giveaway here that we're changing market direction traders is this see this high I've made a lower high I've made another lower high again so do you know what I'm looking for over here guess what another lower high notice here now I've made a new lower low All right so this is counter trend territory if you just remember the term follow the gold see my gold EMA that's a 34 period I want you to follow the 34 now see how we're trending up now whoops let me just do this so we're trending up now I'm now looking for a reversal we're still sideways we're still sideways at this stage okay now I've got a bit of an uptrend just here so I do have an uptrend however I'm look at this I'm totally sideways look at your anchor chart here let's not risk it let's be patient now in the end what we're looking for is a fanning of the EMAs and I'll show you that in a moment now see this here we would have been stopped on that see everything is sideways so at the moment we're trading totally sideways traders so what I need to do I've got a lower high there I need to get a break really starting to come down here somewhere I need to get the break down here we're sideways forget it we're still so now now it's starting to get interesting see this here over here see that's called a fanning of the EMAs once you get the hang of it this is really simple by the way this is just pattern recognition see over here we're getting a fanning of the EMAs just here it's just starting 
Okay, so we're just starting to get a fan in of the EMAs. So see this here, this is a 200 EMA. The rule of thumb is when you're above the 200, you're looking for longs. When you're below the 200, you're looking for shorts. Now this indicator down here is what we call a long-term stochastic on the right-hand side. See what's just sailing in between? What that shows me is I'm in chop at the moment. So we're really looking for a breakdown. Oops, that's not what I meant to do, but I still don't have an entry. Yes, I could have traded this. So any members in the room, can you see what this is? This is what we call a T5 just here. Okay, so yes, you could have traded that, but let's look for a retracement. I'm only gonna talk about for you for now, trend following trades, okay? Now, just here, remember the two trades I said the most, uh, are the, really the highest probability are the 34B and the 2B? For a 34B, I've got to come back to the gold. For a 2B, usually I've got to come back to the gold or deeper. And what a 2B is trade is, is where I'm getting a multiple EMA bounce. I'm getting a bounce on my anchor chart over here, and I'm also getting a bounce. So I'm getting a bounce um, uh, um, off major EMAs on my anchor chart one, and I'm getting a bounce off EMAs on my anchor chart two. Now, now I'm pulling back. Now, remember earlier, I said to you that when we take a trade, that do we have blue skies in front of us? And we've got to make sure, you know, we want to know where our pivots are. But remember on that list, I also had major EMAs. Look what we've bounced on. I'll to explain this black line to you in a moment, but see how we're bouncing right there off the 200 EMA. See that? This is why when you day trade, you must know using the formula that we use, where is the 89 EMA and where is the 200 EMA? If you don't, you'll get stopped out time and time again and you have no idea why. It's because you're bouncing off higher time frame support resistance areas. The other thing is, you may be wondering, what are these black lines that Ray's got on his charts? Well, traders, with oil, there's something unique about the oil market and there's some special round numbers. Okay, so you'll find every day you bounce off these round numbers. See that bounce there? Now, that becomes a loaded trade because not only are we bouncing off 84 a barrel, but we're bouncing off the 200 a barrel, okay? Now, remember earlier I mentioned we've got a setup called the rule of one? Well, that's a rule of one and it's also called a slingshot. And I'll point the set out, set up out to you because it's very common. Uh, this is called the slingshot. It's been around for many, many years. It's where you've got a long-term stochastic and the short-term hooks back and you get a bounce off a major EMA, okay? What you've got to be careful of though, is the further you get out from your major EMAs, the more likely it is to fail, by the way. But we would have been really interested in that if we had a pullback to the 34. Now, see how we're pulling back, and we'll go live very soon, by the way. We're an hour in, so, so there's still so much more I've got to show you. So as we pull back here, you'll know with absolute certainty once you understand the fanning of the EMAs. See how price action is now crossed under the 200 EMA? See how we're getting a fanning of our EMAs here? We now get ready for a trade. Is that on the entry chart here, I'm looking for my first red candle. Now, it shows it as white. Before that turns white, that would show a red candle. And on your anchor chart one, you would see this you would see a red candle starting to set up. You don't enter this trade until, whoops, until the third or the fourth candle, just there. Now, remember earlier, 
on the trading plan and we need to you really we need to go back to that for a moment this is important remember earlier on this plan we spoke about how we're going to net uh, 100 a day well I just want you to count how many of these trades I'm about to point out that you have we're on CL now so I want six tick trades a day now on the one tick chart which we're on and if anyone gets a bit lost here if you become a member after a week of coaching with me you'll you'll have this down pat sometimes it's just a little different okay but when you're on a lower time frame your stop loss is small but we can go up to an $80 stop loss if you've got a a, um, a $4,000 account now by the way you do have another option with oil you can trade the micro oil account which is $1 a tick however the problem with the one dot with the um, with the uh, uh, the micro oil it's not as fair as if trading the micro on a couple of other markets that's why I've mentioned it up to now I won't go into it now but it's it, it it's quite, there's some issues with it there really is so for 100 a day we need two six tick trades a day so let's see how we go with this now back to here if we entered here on the fourth candle and the reason I say the fourth candle it means I can either be using a market order to get in which means it started to set up and I press market or I put a buy a sell stop in which means I got here in here at this point now what that means is I've got a six tick stop and this is important that I explain where my entry is um, uh, where my exit is and where where's my stop goes so my entries here my stop goes one tick above here so that would be one two three four five six with us one tick Renko which means that each one of these candles is one tick I've got a $60 stop now if I needed to jump up to a time frame because the one tick was too fast which it is moving fairly quickly today uh, you would you get away with it using market orders once you get the experience you'd be trading this chart except we just have a, a different template on it this is called a two tick means I would have an eight tick stop which is $80 now where's my exit first thing we need to remember is that just below us and you'd be able to see this let me just scroll this back for you you could see just below you've got a round number it's one of five in a series but then we've also got the 200 EMA and this is where you know that as you come down to that 200 EMA we say if you normally are after eight ticks or ten ticks you know a pretty high degree of certainty you're going to get a bounce and there it is right sorry wrong I've got the wrong spot sorry uh, let me tell you I'm on the wrong spot here I'm thinking we're over here but either way <laughs> even if we entered this one we've got to bounce my apologies everyone I'm looking over at my anchor chart but even with this one the same thing applies taking this short we can see we've got the 200 now I've got the right spot we're going down to the 200 EMA so what are we expecting down here okay a bounce now over here see how we've got the 200 here I expect a bounce now see how I get a reversal a bit of a bounce there that's at right at that spot now with this if I enter here I'm after six ticks as a minimum eight ticks is ideal now we've now hit that target now what am I wait now waiting for I'm now waiting for a deep pullback see here you had this same bounce just here that's by the way we call that a 21b this is called a 21b this is called a just there a 2b so we've got a 21B, a 2B, and another 21B. Now your 21Bs are great. They're not as good as your 34s or your 2Bs. Uh, I'm now that the time frame, uh, Vic, on this. By the way, this is the uh, you can track this live by going back. This is um, Central Standard Time, US time, 
by the way. So that's Central Standard Time. But look, let's get back and go back to where we are right now uh, as a market. Now, before I do that, and I can see, oh, good day, David, I can see there's a few members in the room. I just want to point this out. See your breakdown? There was your T5 there. And as you come down, note you've had one swing, two, three. Uh, and I should just point this out to everyone else. A T5 is something I just really, this is fairly recent, is I notice we've got a setup, it's called the T20. It's been around for years. It coincides with a 50 CCI zero line crossover. I should point out a 50 CCI zero line crossover has been around for, for, for many years. That is, if you're above a 50 CCI zero line, um, you're looking for longs. That's the long bias. Uh, if you're below the 50 CCI, you're looking for short. So many, many traders use it as a trend directional indicator. I discovered a couple of EMAs that when I get crossovers, it'll give me the same thing. That's this dot here. And remember all of these indicators where I've coded like the super scalper, I've got um, for Ninja Trader rate particularly and for TradeStation, they're, they're free with you, okay? Now, what I then discovered was that when, see this channel here, we call it the seven by eight, see that channel there? This is my anchor chart. If you're a scalper, see that, when you get a pullback, you take these trades in the direction, there was one there, there was one there, see those tails, there's one, one, one's there. You can scalp your little heart as long as you like while you've got this short-term um, channel in place. But notice the black dot there. When you have a crossing of our channels there and I get the T5, look at these moves. Now you will have occasion where you'll get some chop. Now, for an example, if you look over here, see I had one there to go long, but we're rolling over and we're totally flat, not interested. Here, I had a signal to go short. See the yellow dot? Not interested yet. Now I get another yellow dot, okay, which is the T20 and my channel rolls. Now, this is a 100% mechanical entry and look at the move. Now on this one, what are the two rules? I have a T20 and I have my channel plot. Now in this case, my channel has rolled, big tick, and then I have my T20 set up thereafter. Now in these cases, if any members are sitting here, we want to have a six tick stop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why six ticks? Well, quite often, as you know, we'll get a retracement here and it turns into a T20-1. For, for new members or, or anyone new here, a T20-1 is nothing more than the first pullback after we get what we call a T20. Very easy to learn setup and away it goes. Now, just here, I've now got another, uh, another T5 setup. Now, see over here the black dot. See how that sets up. Now, this is this is our first wave in a new trend. So we've got to be more cautious of these. As well, see how flat I am. Now, just here, what I'm actually looking for is a long trade. Why am I looking for a long trade here? See all of my EMAs, see how I've crossed now up above the 200 EMA? I'm looking for a long happens to be price action has pulled back to my 200 EMA. And I want you to look over here for a moment. See the long-term stochastic here? Very simple, it's trending up. And I've crossed above the 200. So as soon as I get my super scalper set up, which is the next candle, and I'm gonna be lazy, I'm gonna use a buy stop or use a market order, I'm now in, I wanna go long. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we touched, if we use one, two, three, four, five. Now we only touched six ticks. What that means is we want to definitely go to break even plus one or plus two. Ideal, if you don't want to get it too tight because it can come down, depends what sort of trader you are. Now, 
If we had have gone plus one, it means we are now plus one. So we've covered our commission right now. So what we want to do is look for a long trade. If you look, if you're after your eight ticks, that is, there it is there. Now we've hit our eight ticks. So you've already hit your $100, but let's go to live price action right now. Okay, so let's go live. So what we can first see is <laughs> over there, what was that? That was a 2B. See how price retrace back here. See how we retrace back here. We've got a, a 2B right there. But what if you want to be lazier? Well, no, it's not it's really not to be lazy here. What's that dot there? That one there is a T20 selling into a rising EMA. So that there is actually one of those T5s we're talking about. But remember what I said to you before about having blue sky? If I shorted there, what's in front of me? I've got all of the support of these EMAs here. And look over here. If I shorted there, I've got all of this support here. On the other hand, if I went long here, there's my T20. And look over here, I've also got the rollover. So that is a black and white T20 to go long. Thank you very much. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ticks is $80. Now, what if I decide I'm only going to trade T20s? Oh, sorry, T5s. I just want to go for, um, for new members or existing members in a room, your best, you're looking for your waves. See, you've got one set up here. Now, the first rule is, do it, has my channel rolled on my anchor chart one? Yes, it has. There's the dot. Means I've got a crossover. Thank you very much. Number two, do I have a T20 set up here? Yes, I do. Now, what I can see down here is I've got my EMAs down here as well. Why am I more interested in taking this one? I'll show you why. Let me just scroll that over here. It's still a higher risk, but it's slower. And I'll show you why it's this. See how here we've got a higher high on price. See here we've got a lower high. See over here how I formed a little double top just here. See that I've got a lower high. What I've got there traders is a double top with double divergence. I've got divergence on my entry chart and I've got divergence on my anchor chart one. What that means is generally is a deeper pullback. Now, where would my entry be for this? We're waiting for, yes, you could be trading divergence, but remember what I said to new members, we want to avoid divergence as a new trader. Okay, yes, this one works out mighty fine, but it might as well. Your T5 is your next best entry, and there it is there. What gave me the entry conditions? Here is my T20 setup. My channel has rolled over, and these are all, you can set this up on any trading platform. There's nothing unique about it. These are all standard indicators. Now, in shorting this, I can see I do have the 200 EMA down here. But what I also have traders is major divergence behind me. Now, where'd my stop loss go? One, two, three, four, five, six. It'd be up here. So I'm ideally after eight ticks and bang, down I go. Now, as I'm coming down here, this is what we call a 200 EMA overshoot. We're now heading towards being live here. As we're coming down, you've picked up your eight ticks, which is $80. What I need now is a retracement. Now, what is also important here is this, and I don't have them up to show you, but where are my pivots? See this down here? This is called a pivot level. So do we get a pivot bounce? And there it is right there. So whenever we trade, uh, one of the things we need to look at every day is we look at, we call them the fundamentals. One of the fundamentals are, of course, red flag news, but where are my pivots? 
Now this is what we call a midline pivot. Now, if you were to say enter to trade here and you know your pivots are down below, you know to either front run, get out early or get ready for a bounce, which is exactly what we're having. So what are these major areas that we need to be concerned about? Our pivots, we always want to know where the pivots are. No rocket science in it because they plot automatically. But you also want to know where your major EMAs are on your anchor charts. Why? Because with those, we bounce off them time and time again. Okay, Every day, we bounce off them. Now, what we need to be cautious here is I've got a pivot bounce and a very and a lot of angulation and we are in a choppy market. Okay, we are chopping around, but let's just see what happens here. So now I get my pivot bounce. Ah, and I should point out, remember um, uh, for, for members in a room, you know what this is. This is also called a pivot magnet trade. So traders, a pivot magnet trade is a really easy trade to learn. It's simply a trend following trade that we take where we buy or sell into a pivot if you're trading with the trend. So what, what do you think we're doing here? We're trading with the trend. Look at this on your anchor chart. See a little channel? We're trading into the pivot. And this is where you scalp into your pivot. Exactly what happened here. Now, so we've got to be cautious on these pullbacks here. Now, just there, we don't have a super scalper. Just here. So what, okay, we don't have a super scalper, but look over what we do. Oh, whoops, that's okay. But look what I've got just here. What's that? My channel is flipping over. So let me tell you what we're now looking for step by step. Look on the left-hand side. On the left-hand side now, I've got a bit of a bounce. I'm looking for, and we're coming back up, so I'm looking for a super scalper. Now, there it is, right there. Sorry, a T20, sorry, a T20, I meant to say, that one just there. Uh, let me get this back here, sorry everyone. See that, just there. I wasn't particularly interested in this. I'm looking for a deeper pullback here. And now I've also got what we call a T5 trade. And the reason I'm not interested is we're really flat here. And I'm gonna show you a couple other things in a moment. So I do wanna go long here. And let's just go long here, beautiful. Okay, there's my eight ticks. Now, let me scroll tick by tick. This is, we're about to be on the live chart. Well, this is a live chart, but let's just see what up. As we pull back, see how we're pulling back here? I won't move anything. Look at your EMA, see how they're now pointing up on your anchor chart, on your entry chart and anchor chart. I'm looking for a long, and it's not rocket science why, and I'll explain it in a moment why. I wanna go long right there. And the reason I wanted to go long is look at this here. There's my low, higher low, higher low again. And now I've got a, an even higher, low just there this is a pattern that we see in natural fact i could drop a channel and actually what i actually just do this for just the sake of this for a moment here's what i'll do let me just I'll take that and let me just do this and we'll just see how this goes we're live now so we'll see in a moment how this goes uh, and let me just reinforce after you see me do this a hundred times really you'll get, this will sink in. I've now got a long trade here. Let's go long. Bang. Now, as we're coming up to the upper channel, are we, now this is from a couple of minutes ago, okay? So we now get, and look at this, we now get a bounce. So as we come back down again, I've now got a 21B here. Remember on the uh, chart earlier, we had the 21 Bs, we had two or three in a row of nice winners. What the heck, let's take this one. Now I am close to the upper channel, which means 
I'm buying in the middle. And as they say, don't fiddle with the middle, <laughs> which means we might want to get out very quickly. So we wouldn't be in until now. But let me give you a couple of trade entry tips. See how now I've got a hook at my short term stochastic? That's called a slingshot. You could have actually entered right here on this first green candle as you could have entered here, as you could have entered there, as you could have entered there. Notice how the hook on that one, that one, that one, and that one have all led, well, let's see how this one goes, to winning trades. Okay, thank you very much. Now, why is that? Well, here, the slingshot trades work brilliantly in trending markets. But if you've got flat EMAs, yes, with all of those, we could have entered uh, using, we call it the rule of one, the first candle. But if you're in a sideways market, you want to wait for three higher closes. So now as we look at this here, oh, <laughs> there it is there. So we had a, this is what we call the 34B. That was a 2B, by the way, once you understand the rules. Yes, that's a 21, but an even better one is this one right here. Now, very easy to identify. Here's my 34 EMA. Notice the pullback. Guess what else we've got? A slingshot trade. You can enter using a rule of one. So what we've now got is a 34B. Now, I want you to also notice what have we come up and bounced at? See those black lines there? They were already plotted by me um, uh, um, days ago. They're the, num the round numbers that I refer to, which we bounce off all the time. The reason you need to know those is that if you had have entered a trade here for whatever reason, you might have just been stopped out of that by getting a bounce. We see it every single day. So next thing, let's just do this for the next five minutes. I want to go and show you traders how to read a chart, the easiest way to read a chart from the right hand side. What I mean by that is exactly what are we looking for? So if anyone wants to get their charts ready, if I know I've got a few of you have got your charts. This is the open of oil last night. Now this is a two tick Renko. So I'm going to go on a slow market. Now, see each one of these, we call these steps. Every one of these steps is worth $10. And remember, we want to trade with the trend. We want to pick these up. Now, I'll show you how we do that, okay? That there was, by the way, a 2B, down to the 200. Um, uh, note here, we bounced just off the major EMA here. That, that actually shot past around number, but let's start with this. So this is 1700 hours last night. Now, first of all, as I mentioned, uh, let me scroll by one candle at a time. When the market first opens, I ideally want to give it about three to five minutes. One minute after the open, there was actually, see that, see that white pale line? That is actually prior days close. These, this is an indicator of it's standard with Ninja Trader, but you'll get bounces off the open, high, low and close. And see, I'm bouncing off the 80 level. That's one of our magic numbers. So what I need is a retracement because I don't know where it's going to go right now. The market's just open. It's two minutes after. Uh, I still don't know what to do. And I don't want to take any marginal trades. I'm after the 80% trade. Now, by the way, traders, I know some of you, because of time, are logging out. You can download a special I've got on the right-hand side in, let me just show you this, because I know it's getting late for some of you. So for some of you that want to join me, I've got a super special, which I'll get to very shortly. You can download it on your go to webinar. Yes, I want to join. So I've got a special there, which I'll get to. This will be the last program you ever need to invest in traders, ever. So you can download that and the links to join. Hang around everyone else in 15 minutes, I'll explain what it is. 
it includes my live trading room where you watch me live and I teach you live as well as my live coaching room but we'll get to that in a moment what is really important I show you is how we read the charts right hand side see our price is rolling up first of all where the alarm bell is ring, ringing do I have a fanning of the EMAs a fanning is where see that there we're starting at a fan it's so simple down here they're starting the fan but my major EMA is dead flat that's not good okay that's not good so as we come back down am I going to get now this is now three or four minutes afterwards I'm getting a very deep pullback but note here I'm still dead flat we're now two minutes in I'm dead flat I've got nothing very simple we do not trade flat EMAs there are some exceptions on anchor charts and but we won't talk about those now because they're going to take us hours to explain it but overall forget any trading and remember we're only three minutes in forget it forget it I've got nothing forget it we're totally flat forget your trading right now ah now I'm getting a breakdown here oh that's a nice deep pullback now generally speaking I'm now going to I'm now going to look for a short see this here I've broken below this trading range I've broken below yesterday's um, uh, the, the ghost white which is the close what I want to see price action do come up and bounce off it not nope, didn't want to do that now for those that are in the room you know that might have been a trade on the anchor charts but let's ignore that for now let's just do it off for one chart now as we're now coming up I want you to remember our round number up here at 85 are we going to get a bounce a couple of ticks past it now okay now we've broken this range now I've got the t5 by the way just there and which would have been a winner uh, now I'm waiting for and the reason you're interested in this one and not these ones you're in such a tight trading range we've got a new swing here so now I'm looking for a pullback there's my first trade so now I've got my first trade of the day a deep pullback which is also a 34b and I can enter it using a rule of one now what that means is this if I enter using a rule of one here um, I've, I've got a six tick stop that is if my tick I use a market order or if I use a buy stop one tick above put my stop one tick I've got a $60 stop oh, I'm and sorry I'm after a minimum of six ticks probably eight ideally eight ticks I'm still in it still in it and bad luck I just got stopped I'm down $60 okay now as we're coming back down and let me quickly talk to you about this traders this will be one of the most important bits of advice you'll ever hear we've got to learn to think and trade like a casino and that's one of the things that Mark Douglas taught me we think and trade in probabilities of 20 the individual trade that trade there means nothing out of 20 trades if I entered that that was a slingshot it was a 34b it basically met every condition I had oh the only negative was I'm right at a round number so forget it so there was some again a round number but putting that aside we think and trade in lots of 20 if you're so focused on the oh shivers I'm down one trader and you freeze on the next one you've we've got to retrain you it's so important okay so we think and trade in lots of 20 the individual trade means nothing so I'm now after another long trade why long look at this I've now got my 200 starting to trend up all of my other EMAs are now trending up now the first white what I'm looking for is the first green candle that would be it right there now this is what we call a 2b setting up now all you would see is a green candle there 
The next one would be a green candle. So we call that your get ready, your get set. And on the close of the third candle, that is your go. We are after eight ticks. Now, realistically, you're probably gonna get one tick of slippage depending on how you answer. So we're gonna enter here. We're after eight ticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now there you touch 12. Now, if you were deciding to trail, let me give you the easiest strategy for trailing. It's when you get a close of two candles. So you wanna be out now. So guess what I'm after now? I'm after, look at this here now. This is what we call the first leg up. I'm after a retracement and a pullback and a bounce again. Guess what? I've got one green candle. Get ready, get set, go. Now, if I'm using the rule of one, which I could have used, instead of having an eight tick stop, I would have been in here, I've only got a six tick stop. But that's another story for another time. So uh, off we go. Let's just say we get in now. Let's give some slippage. One, two, three. Whoops. Oh, that's not good. Bang. Now, look at that there. Can you remember where my stop goes? We enter on the fourth candle. We're assuming one tick of slippage. And where's our stop? One tick below. And here is an ex excellent example why. It's come down and tested but it's also tested my round number. We are still in the business, but it went against the seven ticks. We're after a minimum of, now that one there, that shouldn't actually be, I must have accidentally put that in because that's not a round number. Now, as we're now heading up, my next round number is three ticks above. Oops, let's just see if I hit that. Are we gonna get a reversal here? we get some resistance right there. See that there, right at the round number. There are certain round numbers that do this. And now I've got right there another, so that was another eight ticks or how many ticks. If you wanted to get out, you would have got out there two reversals, but now we've got another re-entry. Now I want you to notice the super scalper. Here, you can enter before the super scalper if you've got a beautiful trend. Now on the 21 EMA, there's a rule there that I must wait for the super scalper if I've got a counter trend super scalper. Simple rule, but it just saves you long term. So we wouldn't be until now. So I'm after eight ticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we touched nine, so I was guaranteed my pretty much eight ticks. What am I now looking for? I'm looking for a deep pullback. And now we're pulling back to the 34. Now traders, the 34 EMA just in front, very, very high, uh, there it is right there. Now, it's gonna say very high probability for a bounce. This is a strong uptrend, and this will be the last one we take here, and then we'll go back to the live charts, and we use a rule of one, and there's six, what is that? Six, whatever it is. Uh, look, let's just do a bit deeper. That was only six ticks there. So you, uh, and by the way, that's your, you go to break even once you hit plus six. Just, uh, just to see if we are. Ah, now we've got a two, this is actually gonna be a two B. Here's my entry for a two B. Why is this a two B? It's a deeper pullback. A two B is where you have multiple time frame bounces. I'm after eight ticks from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. There it is there. So it actually hit eight to 10 ticks. Let's go back to live. And then I wanna show you a couple of things and we'll finish up. Now, we're, we're now back on the one tick. So let's just have a look what's happening live here. So since we've been doing that, we had that, uh, I think we picked that one, whatever it was, we've come back down. Now look at the super scalper. All you want to look for traders. It's really easy. One, we had a T5 over here. Now, what about this signal just there? Well, yes, you could have taken that and you know what? You would have been stopped on that one. 
we still had a fairly strong uptrend. But if you took that one, you will stop. But there was your next entry. And look at the size of that move. As we come down, just remember, see that there, the white paint bar? We're not up at the 21, preferably the 34 or deeper. That's all you've got to remember, traders. Do I have a trend? Yes. Do I have the super scalper? Now I've got the super scalper. Now, what is that? That's what we call a 2B. This is a plain vanilla every day of the week 2B. Why? I'm bouncing off my 200. I'm bouncing off the 89. This is a one tick chart. Look over here on my anchor chart um, uh, one. I'm bouncing. Here's my entry. Now, get ready. Not only will I have this set up, but look for the yellow soon after. Just there. I've also got a T5 set up. 100% mechanical. Look at that. See how it plotted there? The next candle, this plotted. What we've got here, traders, is two time frames. An entry chart and an anchor chart. Now, as we come down, guess what we need? I just need a pullback again. What do we want to wait for? The super scalper, either off the yellow or deeper. We've got a definite downtrend. There it is, there. That is a 2B again. What makes that a 2B? I'm bouncing and look over on my anchor chart. I'm bouncing off my EMAs again. Now, we are, well, ideally we want to get eight ticks. Now, let's just say we got in here now. One, two, three, whoops, it's still in it. We're back to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, we've gone through our pivot, nine, 10, 11. Now, traders, the simplest part for me to say is, do I have a trend? Do I have the super scalper? Now, the super scalper is a simple pattern. You learn what causes it to plot. Or do I have a T5? Now, three eight tick trades a day. Three. Just three of those eight tick trades a day. Let's look at that there. This is important because without a goal, traders, you're not going to get there. That's the bottom line. You've got to have a target. Now, you start off small. You start off with your micros, but three here, three eight tick trades a day, potentially 10 grand. All I need is three eight tick trades a day on either the ES or CL. What are they? All they are, traders, is two Bs. Has price action pulled back to the major EMAs on two of my three charts? Now, what I didn't go into with you is what happens when we add our third chart some additional goodies start to happen. Um, uh, we start to get multiple, a lot of these, see that here? We call that a rule of one. You start to get entries on some of these other trades as well. So let me quickly finish for you. Oops, wrong one. So let me go down to this. So traders, what I've done here, I've gone through a lot of information for you on this. Um, now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because I have hundreds of members and some are in the room. And I, David, I can see you there. I don't know David, David S. He's in our coaching. <laughs> I just saw you before, mate. You must, I don't know how many members David has sent me. And I know you could be thinking I could be full of poo and just saying it, but true, he really is there. But, um, the amount of traders I've got, because these strategies work, traders. What's the logic? We are trying, yes, David just said, yes, sir. Um, so traders, these strategies work. And how I train you is um, uh, like six winners, one loss. You know, there's just so many, I could just show you time after time, uh, 40 seconds made to, now see where it says, yes, I can, yes, I can. Um, we have this uh, mantra, five by five, yes, I can, three by eight, yes, I can. And what that means is on oil, five tick trades 
Uh, okay, and David just said, my brother and sister-in-law are watching right now. Thanks, David. You're a champion. Um, five by five, when it comes to oil traders, you know those 34 Bs I was telling you about? Most of them are good for five ticks, okay? That's $50. Five of those a day, you romp those in. That's 250 less your commissions. And so we go three by eight. They're your two Bs. Usually they're good for eight ticks or more. So that's over 400 a contract. That's where that comes from. I could just go on and on with these. And, and uh, I never ask for testimonials. And I don't, I, because I just use what members send me. So uh, John Yee, um, John here, uh, we call him the moose hunter. <laughs> uh, now, John, uh, I think his best week last week was $20,000. That was, and this was from last September, as he says, let's stay in touch, like a breath of fresh air. I say it how it is. He's changed his strategy slightly. He's using my 34 uh, EMA and the super scalper. Uh, same things I teach. So let's get down to it. Traders, there are so many pieces to the puzzle here. You just, you could just go and buy my Day Traders Fast Track program, which is on my website. It's $197. It's got all of my strategies in it, dozens of videos. Um, uh, there's actually a couple of hundred videos there. It, I teach you the time frames. I teach you so much. Uh, and yes, you can still go and buy that. There's folders there on the psychology of trading, uh, NLP. Uh, I've even hired a hypnotherapist to record um, uh, hypnotherapy sessions for my members. You have all of that included in this. I mentioned there's hundreds of videos. There really is. No, you don't have to watch them all. Remember, there's two trades you're going to focus on initially, the 34B and the 2B. There are dozens, hundreds of marked up charts in the folders. Um, you'll actually see here, traders, that there's dozens of folders. Uh, in fact, if we're live here on my Google Drive right now, I just went to that. Um, if you trade with NT8, there are dozens of indicators there. Uh, and if you do join today, by the way, go to raise charts. And in raise charts, I've done some videos there and screenshots of how to set up, you know, because I've got all my templates there and everything. So just go to that one. But if you've got Trade Station. Um, so if you've got Trade Station, whoops, let me go back to it. Sorry, everyone. Just want to show you that because I know everyone is always itching. What is really important in joining today, make sure you watch the introduction videos and attend my coaching sessions. But there's indicators here for MT4, Trading View. Um, uh, look, there's just hundreds. What's very important, take your time in going through all of my folders. There are hundreds of handouts, okay? Just take your time in going through them. So what we've got there is, as I said, there's hundreds of handouts. That's the Day Traders Fast Track Program. Uh, scalping handouts, I could go on and on. There's reference guides, there's, I used to call them cheat sheets, I prefer reference guides. There's scripts, there's handouts, there's the Excel spreadsheets that I referred to today, all for $197. There's nothing like this globally. Uh, and the reason I can do it, by the way, I do this out of passion. I love what I do. Now, the next thing is, uh, is this. So there's three core components. The next one, traders, is my one-on-one -on -one coaching is that winning traders are really willing to do the things that losing traders won't do. Most traders think you can watch a video or read a book and you're, you're away as a trader. <laughs> and, I, and actually that sounded um, sarcastic, but that's what traders do. They'll put 10 grand in their trading account, yet they won't spend a couple of hundred dollars on the right coaching. You've got to become a student of the market. And winning traders know, know you never finish your education. You know, there's always something new to learn. And that starts with my twice weekly, two hour coaching sessions. Now, every Wednesday, every, uh, uh, is it Wednesday, Thursday, Tuesday and Wednesday, I get mixed up being down in under in Australia, but every Tuesday and Wednesday from 8 p.m., sorry, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., let me say that again. Every Tuesday night and every Wednesday, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we run 
live two hour coaching sessions. They are recorded if you can't attend or if you want to review. In those sessions, we go over trades of a day, best indicators, stop losses. We go over questions from members, um, like you saw a PowerPoint there from two PowerPoints from members. Members send in questions, they send in their good stuff. You wouldn't believe what members send in. Anyway, we cover all of that. We also have, um, I've been running these for now, what's that, since 2018, June, I've been running these twice a week sessions. And we have over, it's over, I think, I've got, over, I don't know how many now, it's in the hundreds of members that subscribe and we get 100, 120 members attend live. And in each session, there's also handouts. Now, I'm gonna say this to new traders again. New members, don't read all of these initially. Focus on the two setups. And as you progress, then you start to read and study more and more. Only two things I want you to learn initially the 34B and the 2B. We cover psychology of trading, we cover money management, chart sizes, how you set up your anchor charts. It goes on and on. Then, last of all, we got the live trading room. And that is where I run it three nights a week for two hours. David, um, all of my, oh, okay. Well, Brian, <laughs> g'day, Brian. So Brian Randall, oh, sorry, Brian, if I used to say, no, you just said the coaching sessions are such a bargain. It's like they're free. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Um, members that are in here that aren't normally members, you probably, <laughs> oh, <laughs> most of you probably, is, I'm probably just making it up, but as you, if you join, you'll see the members that participate in these sessions. Then I've got the live trading coaching room, and that's where um, I'll trade live. I'll, I'm not taking every single trade, but I'm teaching you what we're looking for. And here's what April said, one of my recent, she, April, April's been a member in the coaching room. She just recently joined the live room. As she said, I don't charge enough for the live rooms. And I could go on with everything. So in summary, we've been going nearly a couple of hours. Here's what the three components to this program traders. One is you get lifetime access to the Day Traders Fast Track program. That within itself can set you up. So that norm, the website, go to my website, it's $197. Secondly, is six months of private group coaching sessions. It's $97 a month, okay? Peanuts for two two-hour sessions, dozens of handouts, that's worth $582. That's the website price, okay? The next one here is, is my live trading room. That's $197 a month or $1,182. Now, and I should mention the hours for the live room. The hours I run the live room are Tuesday, Wednesdays and Thursdays, one week, 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 5 a.m. Now, for old season members, I don't know whether you for some of you will remember, remember we're going over next month or in the next month or two, we switch down to two hours. That's on all the original paperwork. But at the moment, we are running them three hours in length. Now, then alternative weeks, for an example, are this week, we're running them 5 a.m. Eastern to 8 a.m. Normally, it'll be 7 a.m. We might even start a little later, make it 6 a.m. So one week it's 3 a.m., the second week it's five. Now, they are recorded if you can't attend. What we're really doing here, it's a live market where I was just flicking through charts and whatever. What we're actually doing the whole time is looking, whoops, it flicked off on me. I was gonna show you exactly what we're looking at. A live market calling trades, trading live. Now. As a bonus for today only, and I'll tell you what, and even the members in the room, um, uh, this is an absolute steal here. I'll upgrade 10 only from six months to 12 months. So rather than just getting six months in my live trading room, you get 12 months. So you get 12 months in the live coaching room, you get 12 months in the live trading room, in the end, it's about $2 for every live session, whether it be live coaching or live trading, all for only $497. Traders, 
there's nothing like this. And I'm not going to read out any comments from my members in the room that have attended here because you probably wouldn't believe it. Okay, you, you seriously, you probably wouldn't. So traders, how you can join is in the go to webinar, there is a PDF you can download. Okay, so if there's a little PDF to the right hand side or somewhere in your screen, somewhere, <laughs> you can download. So in there, it'll give you two options. One to join for 497, there's a link there, and it gives you everything. There's nothing else to buy. And there's all, or you can make two payments of 299. That is one now, and your card will be debited again in 30 days. So traders, if you're after really a complete trading system, methodologies, coaching for a whole year there's nothing else like it on top of that i give you full email support um, uh, and so traders come and join us if you're looking to master the art of day trading um, uh, there this is it now let me get back to some of the questions that i had here um, so first of all so so go ahead 497 today traders uh, can i trade part-time i think i probably covered that uh, absolutely. So the Globex session, the session we've got right now, is a great market to be trading. Um, and as you saw on the one tick, let me try to pull that other chart up. Um, that's what I wanted to show you just here. Now, by the way, how you trade, and we don't have a setup here, but I just, uh, but I know someone asked about that. So using, say, a buy stop, See, I just put a, a, a buy stop in the market just here now. Now, here this is, am I on one contract? Yes. Now, what you'd normally do then is, and I won't execute it because this is live, and this is not, because I can't look at my chart uh, two right now. So with Ninja Trader, you can place your orders straight on and you can drag them down to where you want to. So this is where Ninja Trader rate, and I don't get a cent out of them, by the way. It's a fantastic platform. I only just recently moved over from trade. So actually, let me just take this. This is a trade because now I'm now filled. Now see here, now I'm now up one tick. Now I'm just gonna go for a two tick. Now here we go, let's go to this high. So this is a live trade. So see, I've taken it to this little swing high here. Now, I am risking a little here because I didn't check my anchor chart um, one or two. We are on a one tick chart. Sorry, a two tick chart. Now, if we reached up here, now there we're two ticks. So here, now we're three. We got there and hit 70. That's four ticks, which is um, $40. Come on, get up. Now, I'm going to go to break even because and the reason I'm going to... Now target filled, so that was $40. Now that was a 2B, but what I was lacking at looking at, I'll show you what it was. I just wanna show you this. This is always important, is I wanted to see what was happening on my anchor, and there it is there, so it would have been mighty fine. It was this. Remember earlier I said to you, we didn't look at the anchor chart two, um, because I didn't wanna confuse new members. But my anchor chart two is a four tick chart. This is a two tick chart. Notice here how we're bouncing here. See how we're bouncing there. So that's what I was lacking at seeing. Did I have a bounce? So back to this, sorry, just that I'd jump in there for you. Uh, other questions? Um, just quickly scroll here. Uh, no, there's no indicators to buy. All the indicators are included. Now, like I don't have, with um, TradingView, some members have sent in tips on how they actually um, trade uh, or set up the indicators because I don't directly have indicators, but members have sent in either their screenshots about of what they do. Uh, can you use time-based charts? Absolutely, but big candles are evil they really are traders you don't want to be trading with big candles i recommend tick uh, and tick charts um, just to look at a tick chart here uh, tick charts work mighty fine as well 
uh, like this is an ES tick chart here. So what we're looking at here is, is using tick charts. Tick charts can be great um, for confirming a trade, but I think when you look at that, say compared to this, which looks smoother? Renko. Okay, so Renko is a much better chart. Uh, can you use a CCI? Absolutely. Um, instead of a, a MACD, yes, CCI, look, it's a great oscillator. It'll show you divergence just as good. I do prefer the, the MACD personally, but yes, stick with that. Um, what if I've got a larger account? Okay, look, I think with a larger account, start with one contract, double your money, then introduce some of your own funds. I, I really recommend that, traders. Um, uh, you've got to earn your stripes. Uh, what I've discovered over the years, traders that lose their capital are usually the traders that get overconfident. And um, uh, by building the confidence with that, um, uh, Victor starts as this, absolutely, like right now, Vic, we're in it right now. So if you looked, that was a 2B there. That was a 34B, probably a 2B. That was a 34, we were lost on that one, but there is a 2B. It kicks butt after hours. And the other advantage of trading after hours Vic, is the market is slower. For a newer trader, that's a huge advantage, having a slower market. Now, just getting back here, that was a 2B. That was a 21, almost a 34B. That was a 2B. Now, see, remember I was talking to you about the T5s? There was one. There was one. There was one. Next one. Now, C consolidation. Now, let me just show you something here. Would have we been caught up in that? Well, actually, no, look, uh, let me just quickly see if I can get that chart up. Let me show you this right there. Let's go to the four tick just here. So see that just there, 1946. Guess what? See how you were plotting backwards and forwards there? Right there, that was at 1946. 19, you had green, you had red candles, red candles, red candles. You were kept out of all of those until there. That was a winner. Ah, uh, yes. Now, Brian, good question. So as Brian pointed out here, the ATR was 45. Today, Brian, if you're at the start, today was very, very, it was almost untradeable. So in a highly volatile day, that's where we look at a different market. The ES was one. Oh, sorry, the CL, my apologies. Uh, ES was very volatile. So was NQ. So was the Russell. So was the Dow. However, CL was great. All right, they're non-correlated markets. That's the advantage of those. So traders, um, I think it's best about covered all of the questions I've got there. Free indicators, I've mentioned that. Works after hours. Here are your two options. Go and join now. You can join in the session today. There's nothing else like this. This is $2.10 a session. Oh, Brian said he traded the M MES uh, 4.2 today very well on the MES. Oh, thanks for that feedback. The, the NQ, by the way, uh, traders, or the micro NQ, we call it the nasty NAS for a reason. It can be a great market, but if you're trading with the trend and trading the 2B, it's a much more re reliable trade. So a much more, yeah, much higher probability. So you can download this from your go to webinar. I'll also email out the link. link. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Now what David just said, um, they, uh, I'll go, we'll read it out. Look, please take this as gospel. David just said, and David's, um, uh, I don't know how many members he sent to me now. I don't make a dime for saying this, but after nine minutes, I've found my last. Thanks, David, mate. I really appreciate that, buddy. Thank you. Uh, so traders, look, we've covered a lot. This is really, I've really given it to you how it really is. The only way you're going to master the, the, the art of day trade seriously is by having a mentor.
That's what I'm here. I'm your coach. We can read books about it. We can watch a video, but it's not until we start to watch it real time. It's not until I'm really describing to you the setup, the double bounce, watching the, like right here now, we'd normally be watching for a retracement. This is oil one tick. So we're looking for a retracement back to the EMAs and for a short. That's what we're looking for. Now we can read about this as much as that we like in a book. And, and you could trade that by the way, uh, as a slingshot right there, but you know what you need to look at first? What's happening on your anchor charts? If you're after a 34B or a 2B, right now we'd be looking for a deeper pullback. See that there? See that there? See that there? And see that there? They were all 2Bs. Now that one there, you would have been stopped on. That was a nice money maker, stop out, nice money maker, nice money maker. You're not gonna get them all. And just back here, when we first had the rollover, now see here, this is where you first get that turn and you get your T5 set up from here on in. Your T5s are just brilliant for identifying your market turns. Let's just go back to this for a sec here. See this here? We wait, now see this, look for, now, here's my 200 mating, we're looking for a reversal. Now I'm not looking at the anchor chart, but I'm pretty good idea, I can tell you what's gonna happen here. Now, of course, we could continue along, but let's look for a reversal. Haven't given up yet, haven't given up, let's just see. Now I'm just, that's a one tick, I'm just gonna see if I can find the two tick here as well. Just want to see what's happening. Here we go, so I've got, that's the one tick, and over here I've got a two tick. Now see this here. See on the two tick how I've retraced back to the major EMAs. See on the one tick how I've retraced back to the EMAs. Guess what I'm looking for? Hasn't qualified yet, but what did I say or where did I say will probably bounce? We're just waiting here. Now, of course, we may continue. However, if there's gonna be a turning point right now, it's probably gonna be here. So this is a two tick, this is a one tick. Get ready, here's your get ready candle. There's your get set candle. Let me expand the two tick, just check this out. Okay, so we're expecting a short. I want you to see traders, we've also got the long-term stochastic is heading down. That's a good trend indicator. My only danger thing here is, is my flat 200. So be waiting to see, but what you've got right there is a lower high, a lower low, and a lower low there again. Hasn't qualified yet. Okay, it hasn't qualified yet, and see how we've punched through. Now, if this continues here, we wanna be cautious, and I'll tell you why. Expand this fully. See how my, my 200 is still heading down? Well, that's good. Here's my lower high. Now, I really need to get a turn fairly soon, okay? If not, we need to really sit this out because the 200 EMA on your anchor chart one was sideways. You know that two tick I was just showing you? So we're looking for a turn and a short trade here. If it continues to rally up, we need to just simply wait for our EMAs to start the trend. The big thing you, we've got to learn to remember is do I have a fanning of the EMA? See how all our EMAs are fanning? See that they're all starting to separate? That's what you're looking for. That's why that up there was a great T5. Then we, we fan. That was a nice winner, that one is. So I do need to uh, finish up here, traders. So once again, download the join, the join now. Uh, you'll get also as a bonus, instead of six months, I will give you 12 months to my live room where we go for three two hour sessions a week live on the markets, as well as two live coaching sessions. That is where you've got PowerPoints, handouts, and we're really, members are asking a lot more. Oh, one more thing. Uh, whoops, let me just see here. Ah, quickly just on that. So go and download it and join. 
see that here now now what's going to happen here now there is your super scalper our only challenge now our stop loss will be one tick but see how flat we are here see how flat we are but here we have a lower high see up here lower high and a new lower high and this is what we can actually do is do this let me just click on this we do this we go from there to there we take the body and we now put that body there so our target is this lower channel now our target from the entry is six ticks here's that bounce here's that bounce we're after six ticks now we are now just remember if see if we get a rebound here traders see how flat our 200 is just here we'd want to be cautious we need to wait for the market to either roll over or to trend back up but I would be short right now with a six tick target now my stop would be one tick above okay we do have a down channel let me expand this chart again this is our only danger now I'll and just as we finish up one more I just want thing I want to say here see this here usually when we're trading in a good market we have waves usually and we call them legs uh, usually we have at least three in a trend now notice this here we've had one we've come down we've rallied up we're rolling over uh, you're welcome RB thank you so this hope you join <laughs> oh unless it's Roman uh, so here this is where we've got to be very very careful of traders and look at this here it's coming up to take us out so this is what we've got to now do is wait for a whole new trend to set up now there is one exception looking at the anchor chart too this is now forming an ABC but that's going beyond the scope of what we've got today so traders come and join look forward to seeing you in my class uh, and I promise you it'll be the last program you'll ever need to invest in so you can download the link to join from the go to webinar so thank you very much traders and for those that are members and those that join I'll see you in my classes thank you very much